We are here today together with uh, uh, Alexandro from Nemesis and Lars Richting from uh, uh, Lexify, who uh, uh, are you know all uh, in the use case environments with us. And then of course we have also Eugene, uh, our uh, uh, chief engineer uh, on the Luna Mesh, and uh, we are here gathered in Lugano. We have uh, set up here in. Uh, uh, in the city center and we have two other points outside uh, on uh, the outskirts of the city connected to our uh, city center system here. So we will ask uh, Eugene to give us a bit of an explanation of the uh, hardware setup that is actually happening here with the IoT devices and how we are actually connected to all these outside peers on the Luna Mesh. Okay, uh, in a few words, uh, briefly, uh, what is Luna Mesh uh, is actually. So, uh, we have created uh, a mesh overlaid mesh network that can combine uh, different segments that implemented uh, via different physical interfaces. And it can be aggregated uh, with a special routing ad hoc protocol uh, in mesh uh, network topology. So, uh, this is a very simplified setup. Uh, uh, and it aggregates uh, uh, two long-distance uh, Wi-Fi halo segments and also uh, one segment of regular Wi-Fi 6 to provide coverage uh, on local endpoint. Uh, also, it's uh, uh, it based on several small board PCs that uh, make possible to run uh, our backends for our meeting platform, for our Ting platform. So it's very uh, compact. Uh, it's, uh, uh, it no doesn't consume any, many resources. I mean power resources. It could be easily implemented in any place. It's uh, very, very flexible and uh, uh, it's possible to uh, create very sophisticated topology to cover uh, significant uh, distances and cover significant squares. And uh, it can provide possibility to access uh, many blockchain services, to access many media transmission services, uh, and also we can provide internet connectivity via special uh, Luna Mesh internet gateways that uh, we have also done here. So, can you a little bit expand on uh, the situation where Lars was uh, sharing his screen? on the platform and where he was connected via the Wi-Fi part of the system um, and then streaming uh, the video via the internet to uh, um, where he was accessing the, his platform uh, of his book uh, on the Nemesis. Can you a little bit elaborate on that? Uh, no problem. Uh, so we have provided Wi-Fi 6 connectivity uh, into this office and uh, all participants uh, were connected to our uh, Luna uh, Wi-Fi 6 access point. Uh, distant uh, peers was connected uh, via our appropriate uh, long-range uh, radio interfaces. Uh, this is on uh, physical and uh, media access level. Uh, we have uh, our Tink and Beating platform enabled and we have uh, a sophisticated peering mechanism uh, which can, uh, can adopt uh, to current network situation and change uh, super nodes to have a best uh, possible quality in particular network conditions. Uh, also, we have enabled one uh, internet gateway. So, for example, for uh, meeting itself, we do not need uh, to use any internet resources. But, uh, some of participants can access internet uh, to, uh, for example, uh, get some web page content or use some internet services, and uh, this content can be shared within all uh, Luna Mesh topology, uh, to, and it make it available for distant participants for uh, that is located in, uh, for example, some rural area on on, on the beaches, on mountains. It's no no problem. Uh, to interconnect it uh, also to the internet resources and make such uh, combined uh, solutions. So thank you very much. Um, we will uh, now continue with uh, some other discussion. So we are, we are just moving a little bit outside to explain quickly the hardware. 
and um, what we can do is uh, we can ask Eugene uh, to explain to everybody here who is uh, now together with us in Lugano. Um, maybe if it's possible, Eugene, you can quickly take us through the hardware. Everybody wanted to know what we st what is here. It is standing on the floor, and then you can also explain this white cable from the um, from the from this uh, router that is here. So let me just move a bit out of the way. Okay, uh, let me explain about uh, these devices. So you can see our uh, Luna Mesh platform, that, which is uh, uh, intended to combine several small board PC inside and also our custom radio module. And it uh, uses so-called Moxon antenna. It's semi-directed antenna. It's very light and very cheap. And it's intended uh, to provide connectivity with less distant endpoints. Uh, and also you can see a different type of antenna, this is so-called Yagi antenna, it's for most distant endpoints, uh, more than two kilometers, we are, we are using it for uh, some very special cases. So uh, this current experiment was uh, done uh, with usage of uh, light-weighted Moxon antennas only, because we have uh, no very distant endpoints in current experiments. Also you can see that uh, it, all the system can be powered up with uh, mobile power bank, it's no problem, so it's uh, very uh, moderate in power consumption. Also you can see uh, a router for a classical Wi-Fi 6 uh, to create access point for local coverage. Uh, uh, I think that, that's all, this is uh, a small uh, type of uh, Luna boxes. It only contains radio interface because uh, all platform is running uh, inside uh, this box where two small board PCs located. Uh, it's good. No, no, it's great. You know, related to how is big, what yeah, you can yeah. do. It's just a small device and the big results. That's good. Yeah, that's very, really good. Very small device. It's very comp yeah. compact and very and easy. You know, to do that, but you can really solve big problems, you know, and also, you know, give some value for, uh, for that, yeah. Yeah, it, it, I, I would like to emphasize it's possible to communicate even in uh, industrial cities where uh, a level of noises and uh, level of electromagnetic interference yeah. is uh, pretty high. So it's uh, make possible communication even in such rough conditions. So, so, so perhaps you should also explain that this, uh, uh, um, CAT cable is connected to the one uh, computer, it's not connected to anything yeah, else. Yeah, 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 yeah. This, this, is, uh, 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 this micro-tech router is, is used to provide uh, local uh, Wi-Fi 6 connectivity, uh, to make possibility to many participants to uh, connect to the Luna isolated segment and uh, have communication with distant endpoints. And that was actually the device that uh, Lars was connected to. Yes. When yes. he was, uh, he, he doing was surfing the, the metaverse, he was surfing uh, the metaverse yeah. using the internet and uh, yeah. uh, ultimately, you know, streaming the metaverse uh, through the Luna Mesh to the other location. It's a clear example when the technology really solved problem and exactly. gives value. That's Absolutely. a really exact example. Let's say that we were the first metaverse with peer-to-peer -peer, uh, yeah. connectivity. Testing. Absolutely. But that's, you know, it's, it's also you know, a moment, you know, that we have to sign in the agenda that uh, is the first time. Absolutely. You know, you know that the, the technology of a metaverse platform is not, uh, you know, like to send an email. Yes, so yes. yeah, and, and yeah, this yeah, is, this is yeah. also the robust access to it anywhere where exactly. you are. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This That's is incredible. Ju just, yeah. just a small example because yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we can create a network that combines thousands of such devices to cover a very uh, di uh, big distances and big, or very big squares. So it's it's possible.